गुड मॉर्निंग ओ सतो मदगम तम सो मोतिर्गमय मृत्युर्मा अमृतंगम ओ शांति 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 ओ leaders from the unreal to the real leaders from darkness to light leaders from death to immortality om peace 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 the subject of today's talk is the power the power of now it is a very well known subject and we have a guest speaker i cannot say exactly guest very well known speaker and well known person also mr leon brandon he started coming to vedanta since 1966 and he was with the air force fire department that means fire service department so when he was transferred here and discovered vedanta since then he is coming here and he settled here and started coming here and he is a he is a unique person in a sense that means i have never seen him uh, uh, absent from our services too many times except short illnesses otherwise he is always here to attend our services not only services uh, on saturdays we have satsang that also he attends and previously now because of his age he cannot come but another day during the week especially i remember he used to join us in the breakfast in the monastery on wednesdays also and when i first came i came in 1989 he used to run the cheaper he was in charge of that cheaper so in that way he specially uh, came to do uh, voluntary work here so he is a karma yogi and later on he trained himself as a speaker that means he attended that toastmaster club for a long time and he had given a talk here also and i am very happy that he himself volunteered to give a talk so as i told you the subject of talk is the power of now so i invite mr brandon to present his uh, talk please Good morning. Good morning. I remember when I kind of first came here. I was walking down the veranda there, and Swami Shreddhananda came up to me and he says, "I got something for you. Come on with me to my office." So I was wondering what in the world that a Swami would have to give me. So I followed him down to the office, and he made this big thing about it. He was in his office. He was in the desk, there and he was fooling around with the dress and looking. He said, "I know it was here. I put it here. I know it's here." And I can remember the very thing that he was going through. Oh, here it is, the power of now. He gave me that book, some over some fifty some years ago. And I used to carry it with me out to the firehouse, and I sit in the fire truck, and I would read this book, and I read it, and try to, what do you mean? There was no yesterday and tomorrow; it's always now. And it took years to come around and start really figuring it out that there was no yesterday. That's all in the calendar. It's always now. No tomorrow. No yesterday. But right now, and say, how could that be? So it took takes a while to finally get around to understanding that there really was no yesterday. There's no tomorrow. It's always now, and you can find it in this book, Crest Jewel Discrimination. You can pick it up, start reading. And I love the song, Amazing Grace. And I like for 
all of us to sing it right now. Will you play that for us? Sing Amazing Grace. I think that you got the plan of it. Just hand them out now. It's one of my favorite songs, Amazing Grace. And it really get into you once you start singing it over and over and over again. Just two verses. Just two verses. Yeah, he wants to sing, sing two verses of it. I used to sit in the fire truck and out on the, at Mather years ago. And I would uh, read this book. And what do you mean there was no yesterday? It's always now. And over and over and over again I would read it. And slowly and slowly and slowly. And Swami Shredder, my old teacher, used to and some of you remember Swami Shredananda. And he was a sweet, sweet, you can always find some sweet Swamis. And he was one of them. And he would, I could hear him in my, in my, in my mind now when he called my name, Swami Shredananda. Amazing grace. Let us all sing it. How sweet the sound At first I was lost But me Towards first my eyes Surprised now As I found And wrong Every I see youngster out here at Matherfield years ago and I used to have this book that I got from Swami Shredder that gave me years ago and 
I would sit in a fire truck on the strip. We have a crash truck on, on the, when the runway come in, and the young fellow that's learning how to fly these T the T-33s, and they would come in weird like, oh, they're going to crack that plane up for sure. But no, the co-pilot had straightened it up, had not straightened up, and over and over and over again. So I finally got used to it, so I don't pay it any attention anymore because I know that they're not going to crack the plane up. So, but back into my book. Year after year, slowly and slowly, slowly, what do you mean that it was no yesterday? It's always now. And that's a hard thing to get through. And you have to have a mantra from the Swami. So if you don't have a mantra, make an appointment with the Swami and get yourself one. And over and over again, you repeat this mantra to yourself. Slowly and slowly and slowly. And eventually, you will be living in the divine present. Yesterday is on the calendar. Tomorrow is on the calendar. And it's always now. And your heart will be peaceful. Nothing will be distract you from the present moment. You've got to learn to live in the now. And it's always things. you got to go on your job and do the job. I was in the fire department. There was a whole lot of things going on distract my attention from my present moment. But I trained myself over and over and over again to bring my mind back to the present moment. I don't care what those pilots were doing, being crazy, landing the planes and taking off, or making a run somewhere else that was a problem. But I would be going to a fire, and I used to practice and practice and practice to try my best to stay present, not to t let my mind take me off to Timbuktu, to stay now. So if you haven't started doing if you don't have a mantra, you got to get one to help you to stay present. And you become peaceful, and nobody can drag you away from your now. It's always now. I am um, here at Matha is where I learned this over and over again. Some 53, 50 got a note here, somebody dropped for me that I came here in 1966, so I've been around here a long time. And <clears throat> my Swami initiated me 48 years ago. And talking about us, yes, some of you remember Swami. He was sweet. All Swamis are sweet, but your Swami is always sweet. But 48 years and being around here, 53 years I've been around here, around here a long time and I love this place and I can't remember what it was that brought me here but some kind of way I wind up here but my most important thing to tell you to live in the present moment let nothing drag you away from your present moment you go on your job and do your job. I was in the fire department, and when the bell rang, the mind and your heart racing, you don't know telling what's going to happen. But right in the middle of the fire or whatever was going on, I would remember, had myself practicing, practicing, practicing to stay present. And eventually, I could go anywhere when that bell rang to get on that fire truck and remember my mantra. Remember being present. Remember that was no yesterday. It's always now, and it was on, the, and that's always on the calendar. I, the mind, and consciousness, is always. You use it on your job, your mind. 
But you always got to come back to now, pure consciousness. That's your battle until the body drops to learn to stay present, no matter what was going on. And I learned it years ago in the Father Palmer too, like I said before, over and over again, to stay present, to repeat your mantra. And I have a talking more or less about myself, what happened to me after 50 some years being coming here over and over and this is the first time they got me up here to say this you know I've been refusing and kind of getting away from it because I didn't want to do this but I don't know for some kind of way I don't know if it's a swami or who or who it was got me to come up here this time and tell you this to live in the divine present always and the battle that you have is to repeat your mantra over and over again until it becomes normal normal to stay present in the moment no yesterday no tomorrow that's on the calendar yesterday and tomorrow but it's always now and like I said before bring the mind to your now and it's uh, I would like to sing this song one more time Amazing Grace for me y'all and I love this song and I want everybody to sing it everybody Amazing City play it yeah This is my favorite book. I'll say it over and over again. 
I used to sit in the fire truck and read it and read it, and I keep telling myself, who do you mean it was no yesterday? You see? And finally, and finally, slowly, 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 the mind will drag you away from your present moment, and you'll have to bring it back and back again to right now. And I... I used to oh, come here and work out there in the yard and some of the old folks are still here. They used to be out there when I was working and we worked in the yard and there was a a, a, a really a companionship to be there with the old folks that has practiced and practiced and practiced for years a living in the now no yesterday no tomorrow but right now but you still have to get up in the morning and go to work but you get on your job and you work but you've got to remember, at the same time, it's always now. Always. And just like I said before, I used to jump on that fire truck, that bell was ringing, you got to go. And I come said, this time, I'm going to remember my mantra. And by the time I come back to the firehouse, I didn't remember no mantra. <laughs> but the next time, over and over, month after month, year after year, and finally, I could leave on that fire truck and go and fight that fire no matter what it is. And at the same time, I will remember my mantra. I would stay present, stay present. And I would laugh to myself, I finally made it that I could remember God's name over and over again. I remember. So I would like for you to, those of you don't remember your mantra, and if you don't have one, the Swami will give you one, and you start practicing it for the rest of your life, and make sure in this lifetime, not the next, but in this lifetime, you remember the present moment, that it was no yesterday, that's on the calendar, that is always now. And to make sure if you don't have this book, The Crest Jewel Discrimination. I can remember the Swami coming right out of there and he said, Mr. Brandon, I got something for you. I said, well, what in the world he got for me? So I followed him on down to his office, and he was scrambling. And I can remember just like it was just right now. Just he was scrambling in his in his office, and and, this, this, and he was making a big thing out of this for me to rem make sure that I remember it. Because I'm telling you now, this was fifty some years ago that was going on. And what? Here's this book. You take this book. So I don't go. I go to Virginia. Wherever I go, it's a little tacky, but uh, I've been through it a, a, a many times. But what I'm trying to make sure you to understand that if you don't have your mantra, make sure you got one and you repeat it over and over again. Go to your job, of course. Do your job. But at the same time, Anything that you're not doing, you bring it, you're repeating your mantra to yourself. Don't get lost in thought. Never get lost in thought. You're always repeating your mantra. So, I, I have a couple of old poems that I found. And this one is everywhere. Can you see me in the flower? Can you see me in the bee? Can you see me in the mountains supporting the sky so majestically? I am in the ant, I am in the sea. I am the source of multiplicity. 
concealed by sight, hidden by sound, buried beneath, experiencing all around, yet there I be, just squint and see, for all of me, pure consciousness. That's what we are, pure consciousness. Not this body made out of fruit, nuts and vegetables. We are pure consciousness. Watch your mind. Watch your mind. Don't let thoughts drag you away from your mind. The present moment is always now. Over and over and over again. Repeat your mantra. And I have something else to tell you. And mostly, mostly I keep coming back to the old fire truck. And the one I used to get on, the one, the one I used to get on, when that bell rang, and I go to the fire and work with the guys and come back to the firehouse, and I was disappointed with myself because I did not remember my mantra that my Swami gave me. The next time I leave the firehouse, when that bell rang, I'm going to remember it all the way there and all the way back. No lost in thought. Don't get lost in thought. Stay present now. And I worked at it, and I worked at it, and finally, I had to grin to myself. I finally remembered that I could go to a fire and fight that fire and then come back and I remember my mantra all the way there and all the way back. You got to do that. Don't get lost in thought. So, I repeat over and over again. Repeat your mantra. Stay present. No lost in thought. It's always now. No yesterday. No tomorrow but right now. So let us sing again all together Amazing Grace. Because so, that's my love. I love this song. And it'll get, it'll get you, get to you. It'll get to you. Yeah. All of us. Sing Grace how sweet the sound At first I was lost But me I was, was lost But now i found But now I Feel it. Good my heart to sing, and grace will lead me. Please praise my 
In my favorite book, until now I have been dreaming. In my dream, I wandered through the forts of illusion, from birth to birth, beset by the all kinds of troubles and miseries, subject to reincarnation, decay, and death. The tiger of ego attacked me cruelly without ceasing. Now by your infinite compassion, O Master, you have wakened me from my dream. You have set me free forever. Salutations to you, O great master. You are one with Brahman. You are one with the shining light that casts the shadow of a world. I am made in the image and likeness of God. I am always centered, peaceful, and happy. I work easily from the level of conscious knowing, consciousness being, I am alert and responsible. I see life unfold always in beautiful proportion. I inwardly rejoice, and I am appreciative of this understanding. Live in the present moment always. Don't get lost in thought. Repeat your mantra over and over again until it's automatically come to you. You don't have to try to remember it because it's always automatic. So, bless you and stay in the present moment.